Stapen Hill against Coventry Rangers and it's uh, Division 1 against Division 2 here in the Midland League for a pre-season friendly. I haven't got any names for the home team at all, a team of trialists and those who are not on holiday I guess and uh, Coventry Rangers in a similar position. It's an early chance for Rangers to put pressure on the home keeper. There's a foul on Wassel and uh, a free kick is about to be taken and uh, it's Fag Bemi and the goalkeeper touches that over the crossbar and it's an early corner for the visitors. Bemi himself with this corner after his shot was saved but that's simple for the goalkeeper and an instant punt down field and uh, goalkeeper O'Donnell will take that well. Sun in his eyes of good throw. Possibility here from the Swans out on that right hand flank. It is a very long throw, heading clear by Cuts. A little bit of a header, and there's a, a shot which is deflected a couple of times and headed clear again by Cuts. Not too far. Home six. Well tackled actually by Suddick, I think it was, and away go Rangers, but the pass is errant. Okay, free kick now, some 30 yards out, I'd say. I think the number 10 is going to hit this. And we'll try the shot. And that is well saved by O'Donnell, getting his hand to it. Just enough. And so after his free kick had been saved, the uh, number 10 has gone across to take the corner. Near post it comes, causes a problem. Rangers did enough there to scramble the ball away. In comes the second cross. And that's headed away by Chesters. A little bit of desperation there from Rangers. But too many players involved here. And the number nine hits a, a high lobbed effort, which is off target. Again, the uh, Swans number eight showed good ball control there. Seven tries to turn, but Chesters dispossesses him and sends Fagbemi running down the right-hand side, taking on the number four. Getting past him to the byline, in comes the low cross, but the goalkeeper at first spills it, but grabs it on the second attempt. Near the right touchline from Munger. It was headed away too easily by Stapenhill. Chesters covers it with a good pass, actually. Slight interception there, headed on by Rangers towards Farrell. He turns and Cuts nearly got a shot in, which was uh, well, not a bad attempt there by Coventry. Throw on the left. Taken towards Cuts, tries the shot. It bounces several times and is well off target. Nice idea though. See whether the, uh, the Swans will adhere to what was just bellowed by one of the players. Come on, let's hold it. But again, it's the first time pass, but who knows? It might be the cause of some danger. 11 inside to the number three. Good support by the fullback out to the centre forward. But his pass um, outside of his foot, it just bounced away from him. And away come Rangers through Fagbemi. He tries to go left. It bounces off a defender. And Farrell has a chance here onto his left foot. And he's shot over the bar three there and uh, the uh, home side try a shot there and that's the number nine Payne I've just been given a list of the the starters from the secretary extremely kindly and found out he was sitting just behind where I'm standing now there are quite a few try lists but I do have some names cuts again it's a long pass and this time it's fullback Perkins who goes rushing forward and Fagbemi oh, can't keep Stanley Land is uh, gonna let anybody else take this free kick and so O'Donnell may well be called into action again as the referee shoves the Rangers wall back the full 10 yards here comes the free kick it takes a, a bounce off the uh, the wall and he's cleared very very strongly downfield. Steel. That's the left hand side and Lansdowne can't find the cross. Just knocking the ball through, that's very good stuff. 
Munger gets away from the defender. In comes the cross. Falls to Farrell again, and he's shot wastefully over the bar. Making another run. Finding a bit of space now. Finds the trialist number three. Inside towards Hill. Good turn by him. Deflection goes straight to the goalkeeper. The right side corner for Coventry Rangers. Nasty ball. Goalkeeper catches it well, though. This ball actually played first time by Lansdowne and Steele was able to collect it, plays it back to his defender and he uh, takes the opportunity to shoot and he's perhaps leaning back a little bit too much and the ball has cleared the crossbar by some distance. Fag Benny changes the angle of the attack to the left hand side, there's an overlap and there's a left foot shot which bounces to the goalkeeper, that was from Russell. List five here is to take the free kick which was won by Hill from Fagbemi's challenge that's a nasty bounce and the ball has gone past the goalkeeper and it's in it might be an own goal Munger will take this left side throw for Coventry Rangers needing to regain parity. Overhead kick into the middle, but the goalkeeper has it. Rumin did well to win that ball for the Swans. Trialist three gets the ball forward. Hill showing good anticipation, getting in front of McAndrews to win the ball back. Nice bit of play here by Stapen Hill. And the trialist gets in the cross. Good catch though by O'Donnell. Trialist three getting past Bird very easily. Inside to Hill, saw Munger coming, did well to uh, evade the challenge. Out he goes to the left-hand side and Steele. And a great tackle by Perkins. Left side corner for Steele to take for the Swans. Rumin did well to give him some support there and the uh, centre goes to the far post but it's headed over the Chesters. Out to Perkins. And the referee brings the opening period to an end. Lots of effort by both teams, but the only goal, of course, has gone to the Swans. Stapen Hill 1, AFC Coventry Rangers 0. And the second half is about to start here at uh, Maple Grove. And uh, the visitors have made one change right in front of me. We have Liam Doyle. I think he's replaced Bird. Ball runs to the visitors, but that's a hard hit ball by the trialist seven. And Perkins allows the ball to run out for a throw. Now then, Frost flicks the ball into the penalty box. Payne lays it off and the ball rolls inside from the cross, but O'Donnell has an easy task of falling on the ball, and that was Frost's low delivery. Hill collects the ball in midfield. McAndrews challenges him, but it's uh, come to Doyle, who prods the ball out towards Fagbemi. Faced by Lansdowne, the winger gets in the cross. There's a chance for a header. Oh, and goodness me, Wassel has struck the crossbow. Munger now then Farrell's in with a chance here, but he tried to put it onto his left foot. And a goal kick. Chance for a left foot cross. It's come as far as Fagbemi. He's got a bit of support on this uh, left-hand side. Doyle gets to the byline, cross to the far post, and uh, the substitute Demi, don't know his surname yet, just can't get onto it, and gives a free kick away. Left side for the home side, well headed clear by the visitors. Now Fagbemi gets onto a long ball, he's got no support at all, and we'll have to go for goal, and he's played it off a defender very well, and it's a corner side. Try to uh, force the pace down the line after the drinks break we've just had. Doyle making a run up the line, playing it for Fagbemi, who will chase the trialist number five. Back it goes to the keeper, but he's got to play it away, and Fagbemi oh, blocks it, but uh, doesn't get the last free kick for Rangers, still hunting a goal. And nobody's going for that, are they? Yes. In fact, 
flag Bemi did really well but there was no real support. Now then, substitute the trial is 12, nice little poke forward but Hill can't accept it and it's a free kick. Back to the number five and uh, Hill and Steele involved again. Little ball through the middle by Rumin but cut out by Chesters. That's well kept in by Perkins. Ball is played at the line towards Wassel. Barged into by Rumin. Referee plays on. McCreeth plays it forward to the guy called Demi. But uh, his touch isn't good enough and the goalkeeper comes out now to Coventry Rangers and Munger as the player fouled and he's going to take this free kick. I thought Cuts might hit it but Munger wants it, shows the confidence and the four man Stapen Hill Wall will cause a bit of a problem. That's a, a really poor free kick. Way too high has had his attempt at a free kick. Um, replaced by Cuts, who hits a low one. There's a slight deflection, but uh, to the goalkeeper, not well hit at all. Still 1-0. Free kick then to Stapen Hill. Referee. He's going to march out the 10 yards as uh, Rumin waits to take the kick. Although, is he really going to shoot from here? Oh, in comes the cross. It's over the top and uh, nodded down, but uh, the goalkeeper doesn't have any real trouble collecting that. Not through towards Munger, gets a nudge in the back and wins the corner. Left side corner then for Rangers and Munger takes it. Up go the heads but uh, I'm afraid Bird couldn't get to it. And Doyle trips the number 15 as he goes through. And Doyle is going to be spoken to. Goalkeeper takes the uh, free kick. It's a, a tactical foul, let's say, by Doyle. Russell plays it inside. There's the long pass towards Doyle, but good defending by Frost. And it's his own players who run for the ball. Rumin plays the right foot ball, but there isn't anybody on the left-hand side. All three attackers had moved to the right as well. Visitors chasing everything down, and probably about a minute left in this game now. As skipper Frost plays in, trialist 12. Good feet. Perkins chasing him, but Cuts gets the challenge in, and it's Perkins who should. No, nope, it's the uh, the home player who's got there first. Neat feet, but he gives the ball away. Oh, and the lines person has given a free kick. Oh dear, is the ball long? It's picked up by McCreeth. There's nobody on this side of the field. The ball is just hacked into the air by the hosts. And the ball finally comes to Cuts. He battles his way past one substitute who takes the ball off him. Cuts gets in another challenge. But uh, his teammate wasn't quick enough to spot it and uh, the ball falls to trialist 14 for the Swans. Rumin finds... Oh no, that's good defensive play by Munger. But the ball's been given away again by Rangers. Trialist 7 lets the ball run on to trialist 3 as the Swans play out these final seconds. McCreeth wins a second throw. If that player is McCreeth, I think it is. Munger just hits it long and the chase is on. Ball falls to Fagbemi who's just come back on and the referee brings the game to an end. One nil it finishes to Stapenhill.